pull a language um, lesson. It's been a while since I, I, I did one. Um, I, was, I was way in Africa. I went back to Africa. I went back to Guinea and I was there for a while. Um, it's been an interesting journey going to Guinea and staying there a little bit and coming back. Uh, especially before the COVID, you know, you have to, um, I had to go pretty much from, from Guinea to, to Ethiopia and Ethiopia back to London. And it was, it was an interesting journey, you know, um, and, um, yeah, especially with all the pandemic, what's going on about Guinea. Um, but anyway, um, that was my little quick introduction about um, my trip to Guinea and why you didn't hear from me. Uh, it's been a while and um, thank you for all the, all the people that have been texting me, emailing me and, and encouraging me to, to make more of these videos, you know. So we're, we're going to um, continue the lesson and we're going to talk about food, right? So um, food is very important as, as a human, you have to eat, right? So it's good to know how to say things in, in, in Pula, especially when you get to, 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 to Guinea one day or anywhere or when you meet, when you go to someone's house, you know, um, make sure you eat. Uh, haku pute, haku bantara, and mafetiga. You know, those are my three f favorite. Um, this is not to, to, this is by the way, whoever goes to Sheraton, if you go to Sheraton, Guinea, make sure you have the mafetiga. It's amazing, you know. You'd think it's Sheraton, it's blah, blah, blah. But they, they do amazing mafetiga, so make sure, make sure you have their mafetiga. Anyway, <laughs> let's touch on food, right? So, um, um, andugol, yeah? So, andugol means to know, right? So, if got the in the andi dundo, or andugol means to know, right? And this one here is... Um, to be ripe or ready, yeah. So it's um, Bain Dugal, right? I'm probably pronouncing this wrong. <laughs> um, Bain Dugal, right? So it means to be ripe or ready. Again, I'm reading this from English point of view, so and also my pronunciation is not that really as strong or, or as a native person. But if you kind of read it like um, Bain Dugal, you would kind of understand it, right? Um, and boo bugol, right? Boo bugol means to be cold, yeah? Boo bugol, um, boo bugol, so um, to be cold, right? And then we have um, dondagol, to be thirsty, right? So dondagol, or dondagol, or dondigol, right? To be thirsty. Um, and then we have falagol, right? Um, falagol, or to want, falagol, or falagol, or fala, falagol, right? To want. Um, how jugol, right? So how jugol, to be in a hurry. Hey, anga howji, right? How jugol, right? So someone who is in a hurry. And so to own it is jewogol, right? So jewogol, right? So you own it. Jewogol, uh, right? So you're the one to own jewogol. Um, to hold someone jogagol, um, jogagol, yeah? To hold jogagol, right? And to be late is laytugol, right? Leetugol or laytugol. Lead to goal, to be late, and we have marugol. Yeah, marugol is to have, you know, a maridundo, a maridundo, or marugol, um, to have. Yeah, and moyugol, to be good. Uh, moyugol, moyugol, to be good, 
and then we have nonugal yeah so someone who's a bit sleepy tired nonugal yeah um, and we have ronkugal so someone who's who's um, so nonugal you're kind of doozing off and ronkugal you're, you're super tired right so all the mironki like I would say I'm tired Koronkugal yeah and wawugal so someone like anga wawi pulal or you're able to that's why it's translated into English wawugal wawugal yeah um and then if you're hungry welugal so we or welugal welugal to be hungry yeah welugal i suppose welugal but welugal um to taste good welugal yeah so welugal uh, it's a bit confusing because it's w e e l e and then here it's w e l u so it's welugal yeah um, to taste good um one nugal one one nugal one nugal one nugal to be right um wulugal wulugal to ha hande no wuli hande nange ngen no wuli so um today to be hot right so the sun is nange wuli uh gol of course woolly means hot um gol to be right and we have to like to so yedu gol mi mi yedi ma or ang mi yedi himbe right mi yedi youtube uh i like um mi yedi um channel ma ong subscribe and like uh, only joking. <laughs> um, Yedugal, right? Yedugal. So to like. Um, so this one is Yonugal. To be enough. Yonugal. Yeah. So it's enough. Yonugal. Yonugal. Yeah. To be enough. And then we have Beidugal, right? So if you want to increase something, Beidu Seda or Beidu. Beidu. Beidu te wong or beidu, beidu ndiang, yeah. So beidu gol means to add, increase. Beidu, right? So if got the ini beidu got dung, you put more, right? Um, and then, so I'm gonna stop with the images because I feel like um, sometimes it's good for you to go and research these images yourself. I think that would really help um, for you to have an understanding. Um, to, for example, is to to take the word defugal means to cook and make your own um, PDF or make your own documentation. Because that's what I did. You know, um, I'm a visual person, so I I learned through watching, right? Or um, through I mean that's the there are two ways that I learn fast. It's audio and visual, right? Um, so I learn really fast way using, but might not necessarily be the same thing for you. You know, you might be a terrible learning video, I mean, uh, visual, but you're very good with oral, right? So, um, yeah, take your time, create your own um, PDF, and then add your own pictures. And I think that's where you could move forward. So defugal means to cook, yeah. Harugal means to be full, yeah. Um, Hebugal means to obtain. Hebugal, right? Hebugal means to obtain. And then we have hitagal, right? Um, hitagal means to eat dinner, yeah. And then we have Hiragal. So Hiragal. So to greet someone. Hiragal means to greet someone. Yeah. So we're talking about Hiragal to greet. And then we have um, here where it says um, Huddugal. 
right to live somewhere hudugol uh, to live somewhere and then it to gol court yeah yeah so it to gol court yeah means to eat breakfast court yeah means breakfast it to gol means to eat or to to do right so he says it to gol court yeah right and then we have um iwugol right so we have iwugol means to come from iwugol yeah iwugol go on to iwuda um to come from uh we have lotogol right so lotogol means to wash oneself yao lot yao lota or lotogol mimi ya mi yao lotogol yeah mimi yao lotogol um so lotogol means to wash oneself right and then we have namugol or nyamugol right so nyamugol na nyamugol means to eat minyamai tewu um minyamai mifala nyamugol goddum right or i want to eat something uh, hande minyami uh, nyiri hande 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 miyari um miyari um miyari orange juice or miyari um miyari miyari cafe hande hande miyari but that's for drink but nyamugol means to eat so hande minyami tewu right minyami godun um so so you gol means to eat lunch um i find it strange i don't usually use these words to eat lunch i mean i i use the word um it to gol kod ya lo i always ask people i t kod ya um and and uh, anyami so for us the word i suppose i don't use the word um so you gol means to eat lunch i wouldn't um and then we have things like yarugol to drink remember we talk about nyamugol now there's yarugol right nyamugol yarugol so yarugol ayari diang ya uyara ndiang seda you know um yarugol right so is to drink and then we have yakugol so yakugol is is different from nyamugol cuz yakugol um me yakite right yakugol yo like your your biting your 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 or me yakite steak um me yakite wo hande right um if i eat a restaurant a yakite wo said right or anyama ite wo so there's a difference between like bite or eat right so yakugol goro so you would not eat goro you would jack like goro means like it's a cola right so there's a difference between yakugol and nyamugol so you wouldn't say to someone minyami cola no ajakai miyaki um goro right or cola in english moya means wow right moya means wow um by means by a lot means a lot right um of course in the english word buy means to buy something you you purchase something right uh, like an exchange a medium of exchange but in in pula it means a lot um right so don't get confused with the word buy even though the translations it says english is buy of course buy in english as you know means to 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 purchase something is a completely opposite to gine which is a um, pula which is a lot um seda right so i like the word seda cuz i use the word seda a lot um seda to or seda this seda da um kamburi fala da inu ajanna be seda uh one day i should do a a a talk on on pula uh, on on um on africa and money and especially if you are coming from the diaspora you know what i will touch on that i'll maybe make a video i'm not really keen on 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 doing it but i should touch on it it's a very interesting 
Um, I could I could tell you a whole story about the word seda, uh, how you should utilize that word a lot. It will help you to keep your money safe. <laughs> I'm only joking. Uh, so we have seda, right? Seda means a little. And we have tung. Tung means only. So jam tung. Remember the jam tung we talked about? Um, jam tung, right? So seda tung. Or, well, you will not say seda tung. Of course, you probably could say if you want to. But remember, jam tung means only. So tung means only, right? Now we come down to 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 things that um, that you probably, if you're a Guinean, you know these things very. Bantara, bantara. So there's mafe bantara or hako bantara, right? So hako bantara, it's like a a, leaf, a cassava leaf. That's what you know what a cassava. Um, I mean, Google cassava, like, um, let me Google cassava for you. So this is cassava, right? This is cassava for you. And that's the leaf. So cassava and that's the leaf. Do you see the leaf? Um, so... This is Hako Bantara here. This is what Hako Bantara is. I mean, we make this into stew. So we, we would cut this leaf and would make it into... Uh, it's it's really... It's, huh, it tastes really amazing, you know, with, with um, Hako Bantara, with Nebanture, right? So it's really mostly done with Nebanture. Um, so that's cassava for you. Uh, let's minimize that. So that's Hako Bantara or Bantara, right? Um, and then we have Basalong. So that's the onion. Basale, basale on means the onions, right? And we have Birandang. So Birandang dang means the milk, right? So if you're a Fula person or a Fulani, you, you love you. Well, we love our cow and we love our milk. You know, if you're a fuller person, you should know that, you know, milk is really special to us. Um, it's funny, there were, there's, a, there's a Fulani myth. There's a, before pre-Islam, um, if you're super religious, don't be upset or don't take these things personal. So the fuller people, um, they used to, pray to a god called Dandari, right? It's a, this is a fuller myth. Uh, his name is um, uh, um, Geno. So he's also called Geno. He's a Fulani um, god. You know, he's the creator. He, his name is Dandari. If you have time, Google it. Um, and, but he's also called um, um, Geno. And then the first he created man by the drop of milk. So yeah, back to the, the milk story. <laughs> it's very interesting. Um, I think if you are interested in it, please have a read about it. Um, it's uh, very interesting. I found it a while ago and I thought it was very interesting. Biredi. Um, Biredi. So in Guinea, like um, they eat bread a lot especially white bread uh, it might not necessarily be healthy for you but it's one of those things that you constantly they eat a lot especially in guinea in, and in most african countries um they eat they consume a lot of bread you know so i'm surprised there's not a black billionaire who's selling bread out of guinea and all these countries um, we do consume a lot of bread, so you definitely have to know biredi on. It's a very important um, things to remember. Take note on biredi, right? Means the bread. And then bofo, and also another thing that they eat a lot. <laughs> they eat biredi and they eat bofo a lot. So bofo means egg, right? Uh, we have budi. Budi means papaya or um, squash, right? Budi. Bud, Booty, right? Booty on. 
and then we have gerto oh my chicken you know we love ch i mean we eat a lot of chicken so gerto bofo biredi are the most common thing you're going to be eating and we have jakatu now jakatu is a a bitter eggplant right um i don't know if i could find this for you on on let's find let's see if we could find this for you ha ha excellent this is jakatu so this is what jakatu is right um this is like if you know something called footy right so with footy is you you add your jakatu you add your taco you would add your aubergine and you make footy so footy is probably one of the best um it's one of my favorite um meal you know you could eat it for breakfast it's well they say it's a poor man food it's a village food but it's it's really beautiful and then you have oji which is another thing um i'm probably saying things that if you're a um an outsider you probably won't know what i'm talking about but yeah when you get to guinea make sure you eat footy right go to a restaurant and eat footy you'll like it and then we have kaba kaba means the corn yeah and we have kachu kachu means the lemon yeah and then we have kobo 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 which is the eggplant yeah um we have kosan who so kosan is 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 sour milk right so sour milk is again if you're a pullo or a fulani or whatever milk is very i can't stress this out it's very very important right you should always love love your milk <laughs> for i mean we we love our milk right um sometimes they eat kosan sour kosan with biredi right so i've been to i've ris again i was recently in guinea and um i ate this for lunch and i ate this for 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 um uh for breakfast it was sour kosan with with bread right so you just dip your bread into it and you eat it of course you add a little sugar to it um it was really beautiful it was really nice and also if you have something called gossi which is like sour rice right so it's it's like gossi it's like rice it's like wet rice it's like a um um soup in a it's like they they cook the rice but the rice is soggy so there's water there's like few water in the rice like it's it's soggy rice right so it's like japanese rice it's a bit wet but this one is super wet it's like running rice um i hope i'm explaining this clear to you um that's gossy and then you add sour milk to it with a little bit of sugar oh man it's beautiful um lachery ding so this is kushkush like right? so when you go to weddings you you get lachery kosan and and all these things so the lachery and kosan goes really well together um and then we have the landang landang dang the salt landang means salt right uh we have lemon 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 means orange yeah lemon lemon nong or lemo means orange um lit the ding lit the means fish lit ye lit ye mean fish yeah so fishes or fish and then we have mafecon right so mafe means sauce right so this is where that mafe so you use mafe a lot so mafe um hako mafe tiga mafe pute uh mafe um i don't know maf mafe any any anything is mafe right so a stew is mafe mafe means stew right so we have mafe kong means the stew and we have mafe hako means is the leaf right so remember hako banter and hako pute so the leaf is the hako right so leaf mean hako right mafe means sauce 
So we have source, which is ma mafe, hako is leaf, right? So hako means leaf. Um, so we have mafe supu means soup sauce, right? So mafe sauce. So mafe sauce, supu means soup, right? So we have mafe tiga. Tiga means peanuts. We have uh, maro kong. Maro means uncooked rice, yeah, maro, maro means uncooked rice. And we have mbewa, mbang, means to go, right? So mbewa, 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 right? Mbewa means go, like mbewa. And we have namako, or nyamako, right? So we have nyamako, nyamako means hot pepper. We have ndiang, ndiang means water, right, ndiang. And then we have nebang. Nebang means the oil. So we have nebang uh, means the oil, right? Nyiri. Nyiri means cooked rice or cooked grain. Nyiri, right? And we have pear. On pear means avocado. Um, we have pauba. Pa pauba on. Probably I'm spelling this wrong. Means pepper right uh, we have pom de terre so pom pom pitieri um I, I believe this is a diff it's a phrase that comes from french which is pom de terre right so it means the potato um pom pitieri um so of course with fuller again there's a lot of words coming from french and arabic right so cuz we kind of unfortunately we ingrained with some of French and some of the Arabic language so you you hear some words that in French and some in Arabic um, and this is not only Guinea I mean of course for our history um, with you know uh, French colonial French <laughs> um, but yeah you get the gist I'll stop there you get the gist um, Putiang means sweet potato. Puti means sweet potato, right? So it's the you have the the uh, potato and you have sweet potato. Saladi means the lettuce, right? Lettuce. Uh, I think maybe did I write this wrong? Um, so salad means. Let's Google this for you. Um, so I spelled that wrong. That's supposed to be lettuce. I put lecturer. <laughs> um, interesting. Uh, it should be lettuce, not lecturer. Uh, sorry, with the LTT, right? So lettuce, right? Um, so that's lettuce. Uh, I do apologize. Um, so let's ignore that. That's wrong. It's not lecturer. <laughs> it's lettuce, right? Which is this thing here. Lettuce. Um, it happens to all of us. I think I won't edit the video. I'll leave it out there. Lesson to learn. Um, so, salad means not lecturer. Because I looked at it, I'm like, why is lecturer there? <laughs> uh, it happens. Um, so, salad means lettuce, not lecturer. The lecturer, it's not the lecturer. So, do remember that. Uh, it means this lettuce you know there's different type of lettuce right so it's a salad that you eat um, <laughs> but you kind of get the gist of what salad means right it doesn't mean lecturer um, and suyong means cabbage right um, sukkar means sugar right so very easy taku means okra Remember we talked about footy has um, jakatu and taku. And we have 
tamati or tomato to the tomato right so we have tamati uh, means tomato and we have teo Ooh, we love our teo teo means the meat right so you eat meat tiga means peanut right pileti means the plate kuya kuya means the spoon kuya kuya means the spoon Fuseti means the fork. Um, Labikin means the knife. Tasi ong means the cup. And horgo ngong means the latrine. Yeah. Uh, so let's get this and see what this means. So I'll quick show you what that means. Um, I know it's a it's a terrible thing, but you know what it means, yeah. So it's okay. Let's pass on now. <laughs> That's what it means. It's not a nice word, but you you know what it means, yeah. Um, I try to find a word that doesn't say yeah. Um, Kuria on means the kitchen hot, yeah. Kuri Kuri on, yeah. Um, Tandendeng on means the graveyard, right? Um, so should be yard, not year. <laughs> and we have spelling um, season today, spelling mistake season. <laughs> um, Galadeng means the family compound. <laughs> um, Galadeng means the family compound, yeah? Um, now we want to ask some questions because it's very important, right? Kohontung means what? So this is one of my favorite um, in any language. I always want to ask questions, right? You should always. Uh, there's one great man always say, "You learn by questions and answers, right? Anything in life, just ask question. You find out the answer. Kohontung means what? Yeah. Kohombo means who? Fi hondung means why? Kohondetuma means when, right? Kohondetuma means when. Fi hondung means why? Kohombo who, right? Kohondung what? Kohondung what? Kohondung what? Kohondung what ima? What, right? Kohombo. Who is it? Kohombo. Kohombo ni. Kohombo. Right? Um, fi hondung. Fi hondung mo hali. Fi hondung mo wat idundo. Right? So fi hondung. Why did he do this? Right? Kohonde tuma. Kohonde tuma enenge yai um, konakri. Kohonde tuma. Alright? Cool. So very important um four things to remember please try to remember them because it, it's good to ask questions really passionate about that um so yeah let's go to things um kujelu means how much right um or how many object kujelu right so you see the difference between jello and jello so jello means object Jello means many people. Kojello, how many people, right? And kohonto. Kohonto means where? Kohonto, right? Kohonto. Do you remember that Beidu um, Seda? There you go. There's a Seda. Beidu Seda, right? Beidu Seda. Eat a little more, right? Nyiri no wodi. So you're asking someone, is there food? Remember, nyiri means cooked rice or cooked grain. No wadi. No wadi. Or no wadi means is there food? So for us, nyiri means food. It's very strange, right? Nyiri means rice means food. So if, if someone asks you, do you want nyiri? They're probably saying, do you want food, right? So nyiri no wadi, there is food. Nyiri no wadi. 
So you ask someone nyiri no wodi and they say nyiri no wodi there is food or you could say ala means there is none nyiri ala there is no food um yomi addu nyiri yomi addu nyiri yomi addu nyiri shall I bring food right yomi addu nyiri shall I bring food okarang okarang nyiri let me have some food. Okorang. Okorang means let me have, right? Nyiri means food. Okorang diam miyara, right? Remember what diam means? Diam means water, right? Okorang diam miyara, right? And bismillah, again, this is another word from, from Arabic. Bismillah, you'd say in, in God's name. So, um, before you eat, this is a cultural thing. Um, before you eat anything in someone's house or in your house, you know, it's as a good thing. You should always say Bismillah. Um, again, if you're a religious person or you're not Muslim, so on, so on, um, you don't have to say Bismillah. You could just say, do a little prayer and, and say, um, like a blessing in a sense. You're saying, bless the food or bless this or... You could say Bismillah anytime, to be fair. Um, some people, before they shake your hand, they say Bismillah. I've seen it. Um, some people, before they get into a car, they will say Bismillah. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a word that you commonly probably use a lot if you're already, um, if you're born in Guinea or, or your parents are, um, you hear them say this word anyway. Um, Kutuli. Kotuli, Kotuli means welcome, be seated. Kotuli, Kotuli, right? Um, arbarka, my favorite word. I say this a lot, right? Um, say Arbarka a lot. Arbarka, Arbarka, Arbarka. Um, there's a beautiful, um, amazing brother from the nation of Islam. I can't remember the brother's name, but he's from Fulan. Um, he's from... I think the brother is from Chicago. I watched one of his video one time and he went back to Futa Jalo and I remember him using the word Adbarka um, and, and I didn't know at that time what the word mean, right? And, and it was really beautiful for him to, to discover his back, his roots. Um, I can't remember the brother name. He's, he's a really wonderful um he knew a lot about Fulani um, history, and I honestly can't remember his name. If you know his name, write his name down and, and um, recommend his video. But it was really amazing because he used the word Abarka a few times on the video. And I was so intrigued, like, what does it mean? What does it mean? But it means God bless you, right? And also means thank you, God bless you. Um, I believe it's an Arabic word. Um, at Barca, right? Um, yeah, very interesting video from the Nation of Islam, brother. Uh, I can't remember his name, but he's a he's amazing, um, very inspirational, brother. Um, and then you have Barca Allah, right? Means you're welcome. Um, and then he says, Noeli, Noe, Noeli. So it tastes good. Or you could say, well, ah, tastes bad. Don't say this because this is not good, right? So if someone, <clears throat> if you're eating food from someone, of course, avoid negative words like, well, ah, because you're, you're saying to the person, oh, it tastes bad, right? Um, it's nice maybe to keep, I wouldn't use this word a lot. Maybe use it in a restaurant where you're paying for it. Um, it's a very negative word, so. Avoid it if you can. Uh, mihari. Now, this is a good word because when you go to Fula people house, they will feed you a lot. <laughs> so it's good to say uh, Mihari, right? And Midafala, right? Midafala means I want. Uh, mifalaka means I don't want, right? Again, another negative word. Um, Mifalaka. Of course, there is setting when you'd use the word mifalaka or mifala, right? 
but again you could see the difference is the ka right so ka means ka falaka right which is i don't want to i don't want miwela i'm hungry right again the same thing miwelaka i'm not hungry uh donda i'm thirsty right um there's one thing i notice there are sometimes maybe because i'm writing it could be spelling mistake like especially with that lecture letters and lecture um if you find any spelling mistake um you know pull me on it it's very important maybe write a comment to say at this time of the video you've made a mistake and i'm learning myself by the way uh, i'm not really a fluent puller speaker so it's very important that you pull me out on this um really really important um midondaka i'm not thirsty right so you would say midofala yaude ko hurgo of course we know what hurgo means bathroom right i need to go to the bathroom right um or you could say midofala yaugo ko toilet right if you don't know if you don't want to use this word uh nyirinde no metti the food tastes bad again another negative thing um but metti means bad right uh welagol means to be hungry we welagol or welagol to be hungry uh we have mettugol to taste bad right um hebe yidi ma fetiga uh hebe yidi hebe means day yidi like mafe sauce tiga peanuts right hira yidi mafe tiga himo yidi mafe tiga right kohombo yidi mafe tiga right remember that kohombo um bafal bafal ga no udite right so the door is open right um hira fala um nyamugol hira fala nyamugol do you want to eat um i don't know why this ba this bafal gal udetugol no there which is really strange is in the wrong place um we're still talking about food and we're talking about door being open <laughs> very interesting um anyway back to hira fala nyamugol um do you want to eat right cool uh mi anda bubaka right so again i don't know bubaka right so these are just phrases i want to put out there mi anda bubaka hira fala nyamugol right hira fala nyamugol so do you want to eat ah mi mi anda bubaka mi anda bubaka i don't know bubaka right and then now we're just having different random phrases just to to take you off track bafangal no om ombaki um bafangal ombaki so the door is not shut ombaki right ofalaka tewo he doesn't want meat right ofalaka tewo remember falaka means does not want tewu what does tewu means meat right uh mido fa mido wela i am hungry right kosan wela so the kosan remember what kosan means sour milk doesn't taste good right uh himo wa we pulal right himo wa we pulal right so he he knows pula he can speak pula right and then now we we just random phrases uh bubaka no wa we pulal right bubaka can speak pula um porto jo on no wa no no wela right so porto mean well translation means white boy right or porto mean white people but in 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 the translation porto porto means white boy porto jo means um the porto the white boy is hungry right um no moi that's good right and then 
Mafecon wella. Uh, Mafecon wella. Remember, the sauce is not good, or the sauce doesn't taste good. Muwelaka, um, um, right? I'm not hungry. Muwelaka, right? Moya, moya means not good. Remember moya and moya, moi and moya. So that that ya or the ka has a negative connotation in a sense. Kohombo um, yawiko um, market it hande, right? So you're asking someone. So we, we're adding all these questions, asking um, questions. Kohombo yeiko market it, right? Hande. So hande means today. Who went to the market today? Kohombo yeiko market it hande, right? Who went to the market today? Kohonto uh, yawada hande. Where did you go today? Kohonto yawada, right? So ai yaw and yawada. So yawi and yawada. Yeah. So there's a different, right? Um, who went to the market today? Uh, where did you go today, right? Kohonda tuma yawada ko marketi, right? Remember Honda tuma? When did you go to the market? Kohonda tuma yawada ko marketi, right? So you're asking someone. Koming yei ko marketi hande, right? So coming. So again, back to uh, fundamental. It is me. Coming. Remember me? Me, as in is me. Who? Who means, um, so remember what who means. Um, um, sorry, just my mind just froze. Kohomba, uh, right? Um, Yawiko marketing, right? Who um, went to the market today? It is me who went to the market today, right? Um, Kominye ko market hande, right? So it is me who went to the market today. Koka market in miye hande, right? So you're saying it is to the market where I went today. Koka market in miye hande, right? So kohande miye ko market, right? So again, we're doing playing with different variation. Kohande, right? Today I went to the market. It is today that I went to the market. Um, horugol. Horugol means to fast, right? So again, um, in the times of Ramadan, you would fast, right? Um, you'd fast. Hey, Porto. Ahorata. So you're saying, hey, white boy or white person, um, are you not fasting, right? Um, so, hey, Porto means hey white person or white boy in translation are you not fasting right and then um, he will reply miala uh, horude means i'm not fasting right or you'd say mihala horude right um miwawali right so you could say i couldn't do it right um wanami jolto wanami jolto uh, wanami jolto means I'm not a Muslim, right? So, you, so on the book they talking to a white person, right? And or they talking to someone who's not Fulani, right? So um, remember these books are are written for for like NGOs and things like that. So don't be offended with the word Porto or I'm saying white boy. It's just the way it's translated. Um, so yeah. So it's saying to the person, Wanami Jolto means I'm not Muslim, right? So that's what it means, Wanami Jolto. Remember what Jolto means, um, Muslim, right? And you're saying, I haven't fasted because I'm not a Muslim, right? Um, in the grand scheme of things, you probably wouldn't use all of these things, right? You wouldn't ask someone these because it's kind of rude. You should mind your own business in a sense, right? Um, Kohombo definirinding, right? So now we're back to the food again, questions on food. Kohombo definirinding. Kohombo definirinding. Who cooked the rice? Who cooked the food, right? Kobengo um, and defi. 
right? So Bengo means, remember what Bengo means? Bengo means wife. So the person is saying, my wife cooked it, yeah? Um, Kohonde tuma um, heutuden, um, heutuden, right? Kohonde tuma heutuden, or ehonde tuma heutuda, right? When did we arrive? Kohonde tuma heutuden, when did we arrive, right? Um, ko e dis nev, ne, um, dis eners heutuden, right? So I think dis nev it's 10 o'clock right so this nev um nerves so this is a french word that's why i'm probably spelling it wrong um called this nev helteding means that's at 10 o'clock we arrived right or 10 o'clock we arrived um, these are french words by the way again back to there are a lot of french and arabic combined with the fuller language right um Kohonto Jodu da. Kohonto Jodu da. Where did you sit? Kohonto Jodu da. Right? Where did you sit? Right? Um, Kodomi Jodi. Right? Kodomi Jodi. Kodomi Jodi. That's here I sat. Right? So now you're replying to him. Um, Kohonto Fala da. Right? Kohonto Fala da. Right? Kohonto Fala da. What do you all want? Kohonto Fala da. What do you all want? Kondiang um, mengfala. Again, exclusive. That's what we want. Kondiang mengfala. Kondiang mengfala, right? Mihari um, tef. I am totally full. Mihari means I'm, I'm full in a sense, right? Um, again, all random words. Um, hit a kind of kiss, you are very ugly. I mean, another um, negative word, but I want to touch on that kani um, kas. You know, hit a kani. Kani means ugly, right? Um, I mean, again, it's up to you, but I wouldn't use, I wouldn't call someone kani, right? It's not a nice thing. Um, just be selective on some of the words, but it's nice to know what kani. You don't necessarily be. Um, addressing someone you could be addressing like a street or something right so you would say hidakani or dunonokani right um hida means you're kind of talking to a person you're saying you are in a sense right uh no no joy kos right so um dandiang no woji um woji kus um, I'm probably sp wo ju or woji. So this means that the, the water is totally red, right? Um, might need to Google this word, or might need to go back and and re reference my the the fuller book again. Um, again, auto on no no hey we tough no hey we right hey we hey we tough. So the car is completely full. Auto on no hewi tef. Hewi. Hewi means full, right? Um bendi no. Um bendi bendi no means very ripe, right? Probably pronouncing also this wrong. Um Labi Pui means very clean, right? Um Yo Yiken means very clever. Yo you can means very clever. Um Rowny pen means very white. Um uh, we yet uh, yet means very straight. Yeah. Uh, woolly cat woolly cat very hot. Woolly means hot. Selliken selli selliken selliken means very healthy. Selli means healthy. Tunitus, tunitus, very dirty. Tunitus, very dirty. Dirty. Lubidus, lubidus, um, very stinky. Again, not a negative word. Um, Bubijip, very cold. Right. So these are.
proper puller. Uh, I wouldn't say booby jip. I would just say booby, right? Uh, Bauli kiss. Bauli means black. Kiss means proper. Maybe very black, right? Um, yobe aru. Yobe aru means they must come. Yobe aru, right? Um, yome addu ndeyang. Yome addu ndeyang means shall I bring water. Himofala yo o loto. Himofala yo e loto. He wants you to bath. Himofala yo e loto, right? Means he wants you to bath. Um, wo yo o yao. Wo. So now we're talking proper puller, right? Wo yo o yao. She said you should go, right? Yo wo yo e yao. Wo yo e yao means that she, you should go, right? Wata be aru, they must not come. Wata be aru, again, this is proper. We're going into the fuller. <laughs> um, now, this is like, um, what do you call these? These are like sayings of, of, of Fulanis, right? So, in the land of the blind or in the you know in the land of the blind eye one man is king something like that in that saying you know what's the word um these are fables saying in a sense um what a get to yawuko um hokata means uh, a chicken should not stare what is gathering right it means that beggars cannot be choosy Choosers, right? So that's what it means. Um, hokkata. So, what a ghetto, um, yauko hokkata, right? Means a chicken should not snare at what is gatherers. So, it means that a beggars can't be choosers, right? So, if you're begging someone, you can't just choose what you want, you should be grateful for what you got. So, it's kind of like a fable in a sense. Um, so this one is kojoni minyami. That's now I just ate. Kojoni minyami. That's now I just ate, right? Mido defa mi oh mi defali hande. Mi defali hande. I didn't cook today. Mi defali hande means I didn't cook today. Yeah. Koser mi defi hande. That's just a little I cooked today, right? Koseda mi defi hande. Fight the mi gaini. Fight the mi gaini. I'm almost finished. Gaini means I'm almost finished, right? And yeah, pretty much that is it. It's a long ass video. <laughs> yeah, very. Um, it's been a while and it was really nice for me to do this video. Um, I really appreciate you guys. You've been very um, encouraging me to, to upload these videos. And thank you very much. You know, do like, do subscribe. Um, again, you know, do like the page and do subscribe. And also download the app I made. Remember, I made a little Fulani app. Um, so all while I'm teaching is here. And thank you to all the people that appreciate it and and people also uh, who didn't like it um, it's 23 hours. I mean we're all learning right so you know take your time download well you don't have to if you don't want to download the app and and yeah just learn from there I'm learning myself appreciate it very much um, and yeah some of my old videos that are done so this is gonna be be uploaded soon uh, you know, like and subscribe. <laughs> um, thank you very much and take care guys. Bye-bye.